we jumped in the queue and it fired immediately guys welcome back to another what we wish was vintage queue but it's modern queue hunter do you have to chew this in here hunter stop 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 i love you it's literally like oh are you streaming i'm gonna chew this bone right now there's a little box in the corner you can see it, but it doesn't matter it's fine I think it's Nissa actually. Green is pretty strong in this format. You want to be ramping. And this is a strong card. Super Fritz, I was gonna literally ask if you were at work because that first message you sent is real long. And I was like, how'd you have time to send this, man? I think my favorite two archetypes in this format are are are, are mono green like ramp. Thank you. Green, maybe splash another color. I don't know. It doesn't have to be mono green. And five color. Bob the Sheep. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you, my dude. Nullhide Ferox. Bribery. How good is bribery in the modern cube? Like, the best you can hope to get is probably, like... Like a, like a Titan, right? Like, I mean, maybe they'll have a Terastan or, like, regular Ulamog. I got my sandwich minions handling things at the moment <laughs> oh super fritz i appreciate you buddy is scarab got a bribery it's one of these two right like these are just too good to like to not take here oh god is it scarab god? are we not mono green are we just sultai because we're just absolute terrible shitlord suckers i don't think it's bribery i think i'm just taking the scare oh, ah how good is bribery in the non-vintage cube, though? I think Scarab God's just better. I, I really do. I'm going to take... Um, Gaunti, Mana Leak, and Treasure Map, even. Be shitlord. <laughs> Mana Leak? Gaunti? Our deck wants to tap out. I'm taking this Gaunti. Map has been decent. I agree with you. I agree. Liliana of the Last Hope seems pretty good. Let's take Liliana of the Last Hope. Okay. Now we're living We're living some kind of dream. Polluted Delta. I'll take a Polluted Delta. All right. Are we going to be Black Green Splash Blue? What about Midnight Reaper? Draw some cards. Maybe Collective Brutality. If Collective Brutality could hit Planeswalkers, I'd be all on board. I think Planeswalkers are one of the hardest things to deal with in this format. Oh, what up, Jimmy? I want to take Midnight Reaper. I think drawing cards... Oh, I like Worm Coil. Hold on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, it's definitely Worm Coil. Brutality in Modern Cube is meh. That was also kind of my opinion as well. I'm going to take Drowned Catacombs. Thank you. Mm, shouldered. I think the, the thing you want to do in this cube the most, based on my experience, is be able to deal with Planeswalkers, play Planeswalkers, ramp your mana, and play threats that are hard to deal with. And, and draw cards. Like, you want two-for-ones. Two-for-ones seem really important in this cube. I think it's actually Languish. I think having Languish effects is really good. Shouldered's cool and all, but... Synthero, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, Massacre Worm comes back? Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, Worm Coil and Massacre Showcase Arts? Yeah, let's take that. Nullhide Ferox is cute. Terastodon's cute. Wow, we really got a bunch of black cards here. This is pretty decent. Yeah, I'll take a disfigure. Thank you. Uh, Find Finality seems great if we're a green-black deck that's just splashing for this. 
Oh yeah, all right. I I, I like where we're going here. Kalidas? Sure. And the collective brutality comes back. Is literally no one in black here? This is wild. Holy crap. There's not really a reanimate theme in the queue, I don't think. Because you don't have the same reanimate power level. Like, they literally probably just have mass mannequin, makeshift mannequin, maybe. And, like, unbarrel rights. I think we're taking Fallen Shinobi here. I love this Vraska. She might come back. Fallen Shinobi, on the other hand. Just bananas. I don't even think it's that close, to be honest. Oh, Grave Titan? Jeez. Grave Titan's probably better in the main deck than Masker Worm, for sure. It's not Lurus. I could see an argument for Farseek, but we only have... It can literally only get a Swamp at this point. And I really don't know how green we're going to be. Like, this is just a double black card as well. That gets two, guy, two guys back. I'm going to take... We're taking Gravy T. When did they change the draft interface? Uh, quite a while. I mean, it's 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 been like this for probably a couple months now. Thank you, Baron von Vaderham. Thank you for the resub, buddy. I appreciate it. You're the hero we need. I like Gopher the Throat and Murderous Cut. I think Gopher the Throat's probably a little better. I don't... This doesn't look like a deck that has a bunch of stuff going to the graveyard. So I think I'm willing to take the hit on not being able to kill artifacts. Plus it's our first two drop. Oh, I really like Obnixilis. Robert. Robert Nixilis. I always put Fallen Shemmy in four because, jeez, if I ever have to cast him for five mana. Yeah, I want to take Robert Nix. Atris is nice. Phyrexian Obliterator? Jeez. I'm going to take these out for now. This is a great reason to just... I think it's Obliterator. Like, we could just be, like, mono black splashing blue. Choops. I like a Choops. Also, Heartless Act is probably pretty fine. But Choops, I just think, is better. It costs a little more, but it kills anything. Thought... Oh, Grey Merchant? Oh, man. Thoughtseize is so good. But, like, this is a Grey Merchant in a, in a, in a Grey Merchant deck. Liliana of the Veil? Vale? I also like this Ashiok, but we just took another five drop. Well, maybe it's still maybe it's still Ashiok. Maybe it's a little it's gotta be Liliana, right? I mean we're trying to we're trying to mono black here with with blue splash. CTB, thank you for saying so. If you guys haven't done so, definitely check out my cool stuff article. I talk about the state of standard and how it compares to previous standard formats, and uh, how I don't think it's going in the right direction. I thought it turned out pretty good. So if you guys could read it and leave a comment, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, I don't want to take Yawgmoth because we already have a ton of four drops. I want to take uh, Knight's Whisper, try to draw some cards here. Elder Spell is... Look at this Student of Warfare. It can't even fit its text on the card. <laughs> this, is like, this is like the kind of thing you'd expect from like a, uh, a student project. Like this is my... This is my uh, my college project for programming. I'm gonna take Elder Spell. Oh, Murderous Cut came back. I also don't hate. Actually, Mimic Fat could be real good. Like Black has so many ways to kill things that you have a, a lot of control over it. I'm gonna take Mimic Fat. I'm gonna take O Stone. I'll take Angry Sunday. What is this song? I have no idea what this is. 
or why why it's why he's called Rexy. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I like Wish Trider a lot. Marsh Flats doesn't get anything, but if we do get a, like, Watery Grave... I think it's Wish Trider here. I'm hoping we get a Watery Grave. Oh, Dragonlord Silumgar is, is great to add to our splash here. Whip of Erebos is cute, but, like, I, I think the power level of Silumgar is way higher. I wish there were, like, more two-mana things in this cube. I feel like it's not... Great. Oh, if I Rex. Rex. Well, that's pretty sweet. I also cannot understand the lack of signets. Sword of Feast of Ham, Sword of War and Peace, both are decent. Hangerback Walker is actually a fine two drop. Gives us something to do. I don't think we want another three drop. So whatever, it's non-token, so it's not going to count for the tokens, but... Oh, actually... Mindstone doesn't help us cast Obliterator, but I think it's still probably pretty decent in the deck. Actually, Vista's also real good. Ah, dang. That's a, this is a tough pick. I like Mindstone a lot. It ramps us to four pretty easily. Also, Glintsleaf Siphoner is a great hit for Fallen Shinobi. It might come back, though, based on what we've seen. I want to take the Mindstone. Ah, uh, Vampire Nighthawk is actually really good at hitting... Fallen Shinobi. Uh, Gifted Aetherborn is also not terrible, and I think we want another 2-drop rather than another 3-drop. I also would not be surprised if Nighthawk came back. I'm going to take the only black card in here for obvious reasons. Redcap and Shriekmaw. Hmm. I think it's Shriekmaw here. Oh, Drolf's Messenger? And a Golos, but I don't think we're a Golos deck. I mean, Golos is great most of the time, but we could be just be a Drolf's Messenger deck for sure. Might be better than Midnight Reaper. Read the bones? Sure. At this point, we're just taking all the black cards that we can get our hands on, so... Solid mono Mike B deck. Westvale Abbey? I mean, this probably not playable because Obliterator. Obliterator really f skews your entire mana base. Like, I would definitely play Westvale Abbey if we weren't playing Obliterator. But, like, if you have Obliterator on four, you just don't want to get hung up on having Westvale Abbey in your hand. So... these cards matter we'll just take the sword because we can actually play it eldest reborn came back sure seems fine vampire nighthawk came back just like we thought it would my ipad just made a youtube uh an ebay noise but my phone did not so i'm curious as to what it was Oh, Murderous Redcap is last pick? Wow, okay. <coughs> oh, it was telling me my package that I've already collected from the mail was delivered. Sounds good. Okay, 26 cards. Everything we thought would table, tabled.
Uh, I think red cap is worse than all of our other four drops. I think all of these are fine. I think fine finality is probably pretty weak. And one more cut, huh? Vampire Nighthawk was a fine addition, especially with Fallen Shinobi. I think Nighthawk might actually be better than Woe Strider here. I mean, I'll definitely board in Collector Brutality. We don't have a ton of ways to do with Planeswalkers, unfortunately. Actually, I like Drolf's Messenger a lot, too. Let's, let's kind of hang our back walker for Drolf's Messenger. Like, when we're trying to Grey Merchant them out, like, it's the least we can do, right? Yeah, we're going to add two. 13, 14, 16, 17. Yeah, we're just going to add two islands. I hate it because, again, it, it, it fucks with Obliterator. But, like, I don't feel good with having one white source. We only have three black cards, so it's probably pretty fine. Do we want Big Worm? I mean, we got Big Worm. Is that what you're referring to? We meet again for the first time. Sorry with the haste being poor and addicted to magic is hard. Did you know every, like, two weeks something new came and I only had so many kidneys? Jenna, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Thank you for the resub, my dude. I appreciate you. Dude, yeah, there is definitely a um, an overwhelming amount of magic that comes out. I'm gonna keep this hand. We can play anything. Anything we draw, we can play it. I will keep it. Do 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 do. I'm loving it. Okay. Okay. You too. I also wish you a gull have. Masquerum does have all the pits, but I think in a vacuum, Worm Coil is just better most of the time on the board. There are definitely certain decks where um, where I'm going to board in Masquerum because it's just going to be better, but in general, I think Worm Coil is the main. And Masquerum is the uh, standby. Um, God, I'm half tempted to Shriekma on this thing, but also, like, we can just go Obnixilis, kill whatever they play, and then play Worm Coil after that, and that seems better. We could also Shriekma whatever they play and keep a... I mean, this is going to flip relatively quickly. As a black deck, we don't have real answers to enchantments, or artifacts, rather. Da -da -da -da. I'm loving it. Why do I have the McDonald's song stuck in my head? Nobody knows. They're not going to do anything? They're just attacking with this elf? Oh man, do they have Fallen? Are they going to Fallen Shinobi? No, because that's a, this is the Abzan one, right? Why don't they just call it Abzan Trium? <laughs> Stop making new words! Sunny D, you know, because it goes for the throat. Oh yeah. Big throat. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you know what? Whatever you're gonna do is fine. Robert Nixolato. Drawing a card and getting a disfigure. I like Mimic Vat here, because we can actually go Mimic Vat and, and go for the throat in the same turn. I choke a little with your joke. It went for my throat. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't want to. I don't want to make anyone. I don't want to make anyone ill. Add, com article.
This week we talk about standards history and how far it has lost its way. Okay, they've written catacombs and they got another land. One, two, three, four, five. So now they have eight mana total. Flip this. Then they go to ten mana. So they're probably going to Ulamog here and get rid of Ob and... Alright, that's fair. So long, Worm Coil Engine. It's like I didn't even know you. They also only have two cards in hand, so that's... Dece. Oh look, guys, they took the Worm Coil Engine. Sometimes it's painful being this this smart. Is this Sacrifice or Exile? Uh, it can exile at the beginning. Dang. I was gonna say if like you if you sacrifice it every turn, that's a good that's some good juju. All right, let's draw a card. It was a land. <clears throat> Gray Murchy. Just Gray Merch for four. Four, five, six, we'll have seven mana next turn. So you can go five, six, seven. Still lets us keep up, go for the throat, and, and disfigure. No, it just lets us keep us disfigure. I guess we're just gonna go mimic vet. Big Mims. Mimic McVattery. They only have one card in hand. That seems good. We have an active Robert. There's three to activate. Okay. Now it's going to flip. So they can go up to three cards here. It's not bad. I can go up to seven next turn. What are you going to do about that? Also, being able to get Grey Merchant under the vat is... Chef's Kiss. Robnix is great. I don't know what's going on here. Rob Nixel is gotcha, gotcha. Your kids and your slang words and your. I'll give you another card. And I'm gonna put him under my vat. Give me that. Give me that Reaper. Give me. Give me that. Give me that Reaper. If you guys can name what that quote is is loosely from. I'll give you a dollar. I see. Wait. We just kill it with Obnixilis and put it under the vat, right? Oh, that's pretty good. Father likes that. Five, six, seven. Killing it with Choops is probably better because then we still get to draw a card. You see. Uh, one, two, three, four... Get my little Chuperino. Kill your little wormy boy. And if we, we put Choops under the vat too? Uh, yes, let's put this under the vat. Oh yeah, we're doing it. This is what living the dream feels like, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you draw that card. Yeah, you go to your draw step and draw that card. No, it's not your screen. It's a it's a it's a tear in the matrix. Yeah, you draw that card. They're up to four cards now. Good grief. Untapping that forest. Okay. You got it. I mean as soon as they play like Woodfall Primus so here I'm I'm probably in bad shape, right? Genesis Hydra for nine. Don't like that. Nyx, Bloom, Ancient, Nissa, Heartless Act. Okay, none of these cards are super threatening. I imagine Nyx, Bloom, Ancient is the card you're going to play. Because that is like the best value. Fiend Artisan also not terrible. This is the beginning. Exile at the beginning of the next end step. So during the end step we can make a Wormy Boy.
They knew you had go for the throat, though? What does that mean? Oh, you took the Nissa. Okay. Um, sure. <clears throat> Making your way in the world today takes everything you got. This is actually amazing because now we get to block the death touch one. Gain six and uh, get the two tokens. Yep, that's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's nice. Wow, that was like... Everything we've ever wanted. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go. So, wait, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can deal them eight now. It's probably Shriekma here. Kill their Genesis Hydra and then... Send all at Nyssa. Or we could gaunt we could play Kalidus and evoke this. Six, seven, eight, four, five, six. I do want to keep up Mimic Vat though. I don't want to wait to do this, right? I don't know. But I also think getting the 9-9 off the board is pretty relevant. I do not want to put a Genesis High under there. Um, If we Mimic Vat here... I mean, I'm pretty sure we just kill this land, right? And then kill Nyssa... I think that's completely fine. I'm also not putting your land under my move vent. Yeah, it seems like getting Nissa off the board is probably the most important thing. We also killed a land, so like... You know. Solid turn. And they've conceded. Okay, apparently infinite worm coils and Obnixilis. It's pretty good. So what do we see? We just saw Nyssa, right? Like, we didn't see any other Planeswalkers, to the best of my knowledge. Phyrexian Revoker, we saw Arbor Elf. And... I think this guy's actually pretty good. Let's take out Midnight Reaper. They don't have a ton of removal, so... And we saw Arbor Elf, uh, Treasure Map, Everflowing Chalice, Nyssa. Quite a few things. Where everybody knows your name. Now I got the cheer song stuck in my head. Just unbelievable. This dude doesn't know what he's doing. How'd the rest of the last night go? We lost in round three. We got we went two one and then we lost. And it was very unfortunate. But our other matches we were we won pretty handily, so. Not being able to get drowned catacombs with this is pretty discouraging. I wish I had a watery grave. Oh, I wish I had a watery grave. Do we have a languish? Do we not bring a languish? That was pretty bad. I'm I'm actually a dummy. I don't think anyone suggested it either though, so you're not very, you're not any smarter.
Oh, they're just getting in there for one? And suspending a search. Instead of just playing the search this turn? That's weird. Huh. I'm gonna name Marsh Flats. Oh, can you not name a land? Ah. Elvish Mystic. Shut it off. Did you have fun playing it? I did. The, the, the matches were a blast. I was too busy thinking about the cheers thing. Hey, buddy, I don't think I started singing that until after. I'm almost tempted to block here and then Liliana make them sacrifice their Arbor Elf because it takes them off a lot of mana. Okay, that was a great hit. And next time we can just obliterate her. It seems good. Wouldn't you like to get away? You want know, to be honest with you? I would enjoy that. I hate this fucking card so much. I hate it so much. Now we're like, we'll take them off a lot of mana. No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. It's such an unreasonable card. Like, it just... The amount of mana and, and offense it gives you in one card for 5 mana is just unreasonable. Makes me wonder if anyone in R&D was ever like, do you guys want to cast Nissa Who Shakes the World? Do you guys want to actually play it in a deck? And then they were like, nah, I don't think so. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 mana now. So that's good. My sub never does my never does up. What does that mean? Also, Nissa is definitely stupid. I'm really glad she's not in R&D. Isn't it still 10? No, well then, no, they can untap one of their forests. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then they untap a forest for 11, 12 if they, if they want 12. So, you know, you know how, you know how it is. You know how it goes. Come on, Brett. Stick, stick to commander, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. They do only have two cards in hand. So there's that. There's always that. Oh, they didn't want to come at me? Come at me, bro. This is so rough, though, because, like, we... I hope they... I really hope they block. But, like, we can't just sit back and not let... Not attack the Nissa, so... Dud Studley, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Really appreciate it, my dude. Yeah, Vampire Nighthawk on turn five is not super impressive. Unless we top deck Fallen Shinobi. Or Dragon Lord Silumgar. Both of those would be. Why isn't it a Saltai fist bump? I don't know, it should be. It used to be. And then I never changed it again. Four, five, six. I, I Gary Gary I want to draw the next turn because I want to have messenger out. <clears throat> I 
Yep, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three. Fourteen mana now. Just keeps uh Man, can you imagine how good languish would be here? <laughs> you attack Nissa, kill it, and then you languish and this guy survives. Oh wow. I, mean, I guess I'll take six. Another swamp, huh? Okie dokie. So we take eight next turn. They draw two cards. They did turn off their own Nyssa, but, like, they still get the double mana, which is still in incredibly scary. Yep, seems good. Alright, so now we can just hold back and not, uh... I mean, Obliterator is a hell of a card against this deck, but we'll see. Immortal Sun, really hard to deal with for the black-blue deck. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hitting a Grey Merchant would be 11, 11 pips. Love Death Touch when I've got it, hate when they have it. So basically like Hexproof. It's great when I have it. I don't know what's going on. Finality. Pretty good. Still attacking with that guy. I actually have to block, so I might as well block this guy. <laughs> six, six, and a seven, seven, huh? Okay. You got it. Let's bring the languish in. Elder Born, they just seem to go too wide. Mascorum, they have th mostly three threes. Oh, huh. yeah, I guess that's fine. One land, huh? All right. Two lands, huh? All right. 
Uh, we're not going to play Fine Finale because it just gets back creatures. It doesn't actually wipe the board. We don't have any green sources. Let's get rid of Silumgar, I guess. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, I don't think we play this yet because we don't know what to name. But maybe. Could literally just name Nissa. I think that's fine because we have Lily Liliana. Sure. Is this the late surge to steal the trophy lead from Drabo? Yeah, I think this is it. This is where we're gonna we're gonna put. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Plowhunter is a cool modern card. I, I see it played in modern a lot. It's always I'm always like, wow, look at all these Plowhunters I'm facing in modern. And there's Nissa. Okay, well we named the right we we chose correctly. Are they trying to activate Nissa? <laughs> are they are they are they trying to activate us? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, I was wondering. Yep, there we go. There it is. I guess I should have played Liliana. I don't know what I'm doing. The problem is I don't want to discard anything. I don't want to discard either of these. So, like, sometimes I don't play because I don't want to expose it. And I think it's just, like, I, I just play it as, like, a removal spell. So I'm like, okay, I'll play this when they have a creature now and I can get rid of it. Valtrek, Lance, I appreciate the sub, buddy. Thank you for the support, my dude. Uh, sure. See, and again, if we play Liliana, they would just attack it now. Okie dokie. See, this is what I mean. Like, like these matches have been decided by big creatures and planeswalkers. Like, literally, Nyssa, Hornet Queen, and Worm Coil Engine have decided these matches. So, like, it's really hard to be, like... As long as you're, as long as you, you're playing things that remove those and, and those things yourself, you could be okay. But, you know, right now, kind of in the shit. The problem is I don't want to be upticking it. Like, I mean, and if they play Hornet Queen the next turn, like, doesn't matter if we uptick Liliana. I mean, they can also just attack it in two turns with two forests. So it's like none of these none of these things are super, uh, you know, compelling. Sure, fuck me, of course. I mean, I think they should have uh, they should have probably activated their Nissa before they played Immortal Sun, but you know, what do I know? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30. Only 15 damage. Okay. Sure. Languish me one time, daddy. Obliterator. Cool game. Cool fucking match. <clears throat> this is so strong, your opponent can literally forget that you have a Roker on board and also still... Uh, play Immortal Sun before activating Nyssa, and they can still win, so. That's cool.
Yeah, I mean, I think the lesson is as long as you're able to play a bigger creature and a planeswalker in this format, you can win the game. Because that's just how it works, I guess. Every match I've lost, I feel like it's like, oh, they got a Teferi and I just don't have an answer for it. Oh, they have a Nissa, I just don't have an answer. Cool. Oh, Hornet Queen. Well, all right, cool. See, it's hard because in, like, in Vintage Cube, like I've been saying, like in Vintage Cube, if they play Hornet Queen, you're not just dead on the spot because there are tons of things that can counteract that, whether you play Crater Hoof, whether you play uh, Channel, Channel something, like an Eldrazi, whether you play, you know, Tinker into something. You have ways around these things. And also there's, there's Time Walk in the... Uh, in the modern cube, which doesn't make a ton of sense because it's not a modern card. It's legal in the modern format, but no one plays it. So it's weird that like you have a, you're calling it the modern cube and just putting modern legal cards in it that no one plays. I don't know. Maybe I'm just complaining about it. like maybe that's just maybe that's fine. It just seems a little weird. I think. Two six drops. Let's see what we can draw first. A, another four drop, a six drop, or a land. Fascinating. Channel into turn one to Eldrazi. It feels, it, I don't think it feels as bad. I don't think it feels nearly as bad because I waste less of my time. If I go into a game in Vintage Cube, I'm expecting someone to go channel Eldrazi. I'm expecting it. Because I also have the ability to do that same thing, right? So, like, that's the goal of the format, right? Like, you're trying to do these broken things. But also, like, it takes three minutes. So, like, my time is done and I can go to the next match. It's frustrating for me when I get into these games like this or, like, like in the like in the first round where, like, I spend 37 minutes playing one, ra one, one round. Shut up and take my money. And at the very, like, I just lose without even, like, being in the game. Like, I'm like, okay, cool, I wasted all this time, you know? so that's 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 more frustrating to me like i don't like it when the games come to, okay it was another four drop we drew more four drops than um <laughs> uh than lands here sammy thank you for the donation buddy really appreciate it my dude 10.99 is a pretty funny amount i accept it uh each player discards a card shows up to five I don't, again, I don't have a way to pressure this. So, like... <sighs> Four drop would have been nice. Like, for me, it's way more frustrating to, like, to lose a long, drawn-out game where I put a lot of time and effort and, like, back and forth in. Whereas, where I'm just, like, getting blown out at the end. Where I'm, like, I'm struggling. Like, we're, we're, we're having good interaction. We're going back and forth. But then they're, like, oh, here's one haymaker that you just can't deal with. And I'm, like, all right, cool. So, it was, like, it feels like it was all for nothing. It feels like the whole game was all for nothing. It's completely anticlimactic. I think it's actually oh, fuck this is actually hard like this assumes we're going to hit any number of like this assumes we're going to hit three lands in any sort of reasonable time frame i 
I think longer games of Magic to me, the the period of time where longer games of Magic are a waste of time, are when I put like my 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 mental effort, my emotional energy into these games, and then like it all ends up being for nothing because they just top deck this card. Like you're 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 winning because of your like because of strategy because of like good plays, but then they just top deck a, a seven drop that you can't deal with, and you're like, well, okay, and then it just all feels like it was for nothing. It's like if you work somewhere, right? Like I work at a re let's say I work at a retail store, right? And like I spend all day, uh, you know, putting putting this new console that's coming out on the shelves. I like I set it up and I'm working on the on the on the planogram and I'm trying to like make sure it looks great and I got the signage up. And at the end of the day, your boss comes over and he's like, "Oh, we're actually not releasing it for another three weeks, so you got to take it all down." It's like, oh, cool. Like, it's just, it's, it's, there's a certain point where you're like, okay, well, I just wasted all this time. Like, like you're putting effort in to see a reward for your, for your, for your time and effort. Do you think the variance is higher in this format or vintage? I think the, so I think the variance is higher in vintage, but I think the, the, the ability to combat that variance is higher in the vintage cube. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, uh, the variance is higher in Vintage Cube for sure, but I ha but it, the cube itself gives me more answers for that variance. Like, there are signets that I can put in my deck to to draw fourth land. You know, there's there's Mana Vault, there's Soul Ring, there's Moxes. Like, there's things that that mitigate like getting stuck on lands. Where in this, I'm like, maybe I just play 18 lands all the time. So basically what I'm thinking is, like, I pester mine on their turn. Untap a swamp. Kill this guy block here. It's all I can do. I think Drolf's Messenger is just trash right here. I don't care about it that much. It's the only card I can cast, but like... I don't really care about that. Chase the Mind Sculptor. Wow. Uh, yes. Sure. We're gonna get there. Wow. We have it all. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I still think having Pestermite under here is better than having Knight of the Ebon Legion. Oh, we just win the game? Wow. That's wild. I mean, we were also stuck on three lands. And we weren't going to draw another one. That's pretty wild. Jeez. Again, like, the two cards, like, we were having trouble dealing with were Planeswalkers, right? Like, I mean, Liliana, we, it was up to seven. We didn't really have a way to, to pressure that. I'm going to bring in Languish because it seems like they have a bunch of little nerds. Take out this guy. But again, like, Elder Spell, I feel, is too narrow. Like, I don't know. I'm not going to bring an Elder Spell and, like, hopefully they'll flip a Nyssa and then I get to kill the Nyssa and it's like... Or uh, Liliana, rather.
two. We'll keep it on the draw, sure. We got two, three drops. Four drop, five drop, six drop. Oh, they do have Jace. We did see a Jace, that's true. Hey, we did it. Um, uh, I don't really want to have to discard here. Like, I feel like we can wait to cast this. Your favorite Shut up and mine. take my money. What's happening right now? Hold on. I can't see who this is from or what's going on. Dashboard. Confessional. Alright, so we're gonna have to go to my Streamlabs dashboard. Baron Von Vader, I've watched hundreds of hours of your videos on YouTube while I work, but rarely get to catch the stream. Just started a new job and finished my graded graded Power 9 set. It's only fair to share some of my good... Dude, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, Vader. Baron. Thank you, my dude. That is awesome. Also, congrats on the Power 9 set. If you have a link to an image of that, I, I'm pretty sure everyone would kind of love to see that. I would love to see that. So if you got an, an image or link and you want to toss that in the chat, definitely feel free to do so. That seems spicy. Erebos. Okay. Okay. Well, we got a, a Chupacabra here. Unfortunately, I guess we're just... Uh... Oh, wow. He had that at the ready. Okay, this is actually, this is actually pretty sick. Nine, nine mocks. 9.5 pearl, 8.5 sapphire, pff, peasants, 9, 9 ruby, 7.5 lotus, 9 jet, 9 ancestral, 9 time walk, 9 twister. That's, f f that's bananas, dude. Wow. That's a, it's a solid chunk of change right there, my dude. Congrats on the, on the completion of that. That's super sweet. Took just shy of four years to grind on that. I mean, that's a reasonable amount of time. That's pretty good. Dud Silly, just finished reading the article, Frank. You mentioned Lauren Shadowmore as one of your favorites and also mentioned Khan's Block. Are there any other formats with standard that stand that stand out to you as being good, great standard formats that could be used as examples of how you think things should... Um, probably... Well... Hold on, let me just figure out what's going on here. Oh, no blue source. All three of our blue cards. Three blue cards in the deck, four blue sources of mana. We draw all three of the blue cards, not one of the blue sources. Like you do. You gonna pay two life? I would. What celebrity do you most want to be into MTG and what celebrity would you absolutely never have, uh, never want to play the game? That's a, wow, that's a really good question. Yeah, I think the Scars Innistrad block was also really good. Like, you had Aristocrats, you had, like, Five Color with, like, Thrag Tusk and Kessig Wolfrun and stuff. Rankle McSpankle. Okie dokie. Any 
Interesting. You're attacking a Liliana, so they're not going to trigger, right? Okay, that's fine. They just keep plussing? This is fascinating. You're talking to me all wrong. We're going to Night's Whisper and try to draw a blue source. We did not draw a blue source. I don't know if you guys noticed that. That's wild. That's just crazy, man. Well, I guess we're doing this. Jeez. Lack of a blue source is really uh, a little discouraging here. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. Yeah, Scars and Astros would be my answer for a format. But I mean, like, those are really good standard formats. Like, I really enjoyed those standard formats, and I never felt like I was, like, I had to play a specific deck. Like, I was winning with Chameleon Colossus and, like, Mirror Regery, and, like, there's a link to a PTQ Top 8 that I had in that, that article from, like, 11 years ago, which is wild. Sword of Fire and Ice. Okie dokie. Oh boy. So free. So what are we taking? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you're just killing Liliana. Yeah, this is pretty good. I'm also I assume you're also killing my troops. Chupacabra under the under the bat's pretty good. Seven mana. I have a plan. Step one, insider trading. Step two, profit. It's a solid plan. I'm actually... Oh, this doesn't even kill this guy. All right. Well, I think we're taking another, another hit here. Oh, wow. Mm, Ashiok for sure. I mean, we wanted to kill the Aetherborn to get through and kill the Ashiok because he was at three. And if we kill Rankle, we can't get past our Aetherborn, so then we just put it to one. Okay. Well. Seems good. 
So now I take 10, 12? Nope. Still think Chupacabra is probably better. Oh, they're doing all three, huh? Okay. Discard a card, lose a life, sack a guy. Discard a card. Seven, eight. I think it's actually Fallen Shadow at this point. Oh, Gray Merchant's fascinating. Sack a creature. Uh, no. So they have nothing right now? So we're just... If we hit a land, we can go Ashiok and Ravenous Troops. That's pretty wild. That's fine. Well, we did not hit land. <laughs> That's unfortunate. So we have... We can still languish, kill both of these, and then choops this guy at instant speed. I think that's still fine. I mean, if they want to just keep drawing cards and losing life, I, I mean, I don't know if we're going to win through that, but I also don't know if we're going to lose through it either, so... I didn't mean to hit yes there. That was actually terrible. That's I, I literally meant to hit okay. And I, uh, yep, that's going to cost us the game. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, let's go through. And then now this guy's underneath here. Yeah, uh, I, I can't deal with a 5-5 five, five Rankle. That, the Rankle just kills us next turn. Literally. Wow, that was bad. Okay, well. So now we've seen a bunch of Planeswalkers. So Elder Spell is completely coming in again if collector brutality hit non-creature cards in general i'd be like okay cool but it does not so i'm just gonna submit i guess it's frustrating because there's no way to deal with the indestructible so here's the thing there's a bunch of cards in this cube that in the vintage cube they're fine because the games don't go as long for them to take over like, if my opponent plays an Ashiok or a an, era, an indestructible god, right? Like, they're getting maybe two, three turns of value out of those because the games are quicker. Because I'll find a combo. Or it's just they're kind of helping them on the way to victory. In the modern cube, they're basically winning the games on their own because you just can't deal with them. You got... Oh, fascinating. So there's all these cards that are like that are that are that have less of an impact in in stronger formats, but because the modern cube, the format is 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 in such a place that like you you don't have as many answers, so those are kind of frustrating. Okay, well we got to languish, so I'm not really too concerned with this. In fact, I'm actually pretty okay with it. I'm actually tempted to languish here. But I don't want to be greedy, and also, like, I, I'd just rather play Fallen Shinobi next turn, because we have answers for, like, something if they play it. Like this Ashiok, for example. <laughs> okay, they hit a Scarab God. Like you do. That's frustrating. I almost kind of want them to play the Scarab God so that we have a way to get it back, right? Like, it says... 
Uh, when it dies, it restores owner's hand. Yeah, so like even if they played it, like it's still not great for them. But Here we go. Hardcast Fallen Shinobi. Let's see if it survives. The answer is it won't. But that's okay. And... Bounced. Sounds good. Yep. We want to play this guy because if they bounce it, we're going to have to... Oh, he can't bounce it, I guess. But still, it's just a better attacker. So, Also, game over because I accidentally attacked with my Gilded Goose. Yeah, there's some things on Arena, or like on Magic Online in both Arena, that like you, you do instinctively, and they will cost you games. Cool. I literally didn't crack this because I was like, well, if we draw, um, like Dragon Lord Silumgar, Worm Coil Engine, I won't be able to cast it, but. They trade their Ashiok for whatever random card I have? That's the question. This is non-token, right? That's not going to flip. I mean, that's pretty good if they thought it was going to flip there. Yeah, okay. So the problem is if they double block, we only get to kill one. Which is frustrating. Like again, like we're losing to a planeswalker. Like I, I, I can't I can't emphasize it more. Like I can't actually make it any clearer, you know? And I don't want to keep beating it at horse, but I do wanna like it's it's hard to not bring it up when it happens when it's when it's frequently happening, right? Like I feel like game one we lost to Ashiok and Erebos. This game we're losing to Ashiok. So it's like I mean, I guess I guess the, the, the strategy is just draft. Like, in a grindy format, maybe Fallen Shinobi isn't as good as 5-mana Ashiok that stays on the board and demands an answer, you know? Is this an X spell? Oh, Finale. Sh profane Command. Getting back Rankle. Wow. Yep. Grave Titan would have been a cool draw. It's 
snack a creature, really. But this guy just gets bigger, and now it can actually kill your Ashiok. I mean, I guess they make a token. So if we draw an answer, we just get to... No, and then Ashiok goes to five. Yeah, I mean, this is my... I'm like, I'm trying to find, like, ways to kill this Ashiok, and it's just, like, not a real thing. Sure. Why did you make a sacrifice a creature? Like, you literally just lost two life. <laughs> so bad. Like they literally just by sacking a creature, we lost. They lost two life and a, and their their nightmare. Like that's. I mean, we can make them sack this, but then they get Liana on board. If they sack this, they just kill Liana. So I mean, I guess I'm just gonna force them both to attack Liana. And Jace was their last card. <laughs> of course it was. Yeah, I don't know. This is a weird format. I think this cube is incredibly lopsided, though. Like, it just doesn't feel balanced. Gets me to the church on time. Church on time. No, no. Oh, yeah. That's going to do it. So now they get to mill us for two again. And then they get to make a sack a creature because of Rankle. So they can just block here, mill two. This guy comes back as a 4-3. They make another guy, attack with Rankle. Make a sacrifice our guy. Sacrifice their nightmare. That seems good. Lop is definitely the worst side. And, like, I have to keep Swamp in hand because if they bounce this guy at some point, like, I just want to have... <sighs> it doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore. This match is over. Like, we just don't have efficient answers to Planeswalkers. Mm -hmm. Yep, there goes Dragonlord, Solemngar, and Ravenous Chupacabra. Sack a creature. Okay, I'll sack this one. So, like, it doesn't matter. Like, if we play land obliterator, we just have to discard the obliterator. They've taken Dragonlord Solemngar, so that's not an option. I'm just going to take Obliterator, and, like, if they want to bounce it, like... It doesn't matter. We're at, f we're at 8, so we take 5 next turn. They just bounce it. We have to ex we ex 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 discard this. They attack us for 2. They attack us for 3. We're dead on board. Yeah. I don't know. I guess, I guess we could try for another 1-2. <laughs> That's like all we can possibly do. I have no idea how, how Team J-Bro has 20 trophies, but, you know. It's just more frustrating that our opponents are, like, making very, very obvious misplays, like like the last round with our Ashiok and like the previous round with, with the Nyssa like multiple Nyssa misplays
Why didn't they make a token first and sacrifice the token instead of sacrificing the very relevant rankle? I don't understand any of this. I guess they want this to flip, but that... I don't know. This is very weird. Like, I get to keep Liliana on board? Obviously, we're going to top-take a warm coil engine. So that they can bounce it and make us discard it. Oh, they put a pack rat in play. Okay, that's probably all I need to see. They make another pack rat. Look at them go. So now if we have any way to deal with this. That costs three mana. Fucking fallen shinobi. <laughs> Oh, none of this does anything. Sure. So you block here, we take six. Sounds good. We take four, I guess, but then they can make another rat. So then we take one, two, three, four. We block here, we take one, two, three, four, five. So. Oh, wow. Another draft? Probably not now. I'm probably going to come back later. Katie's on her way home now, so. I will be back later tonight, though, and do some more. Do some more draftsies. I think we're going to just be doing Zendikar from now on. Like, I'm just not having a good time with this cube. And, like, I'm trying to. I'm trying to really make the best of it and have a, have a go at it, but... It's just not good. I've enjoyed the ZNR drafts I've done. I mean, I, I never enjoy standard set drafts as much as I do cube drafts, but I could say I'm, I've am i been enjoying the ZNR drafts more than this particular cube, for example. Well, that's good. My three drop, that was gonna... Yep. Cool. It's just so exhausting. Okay. Five drop, six drop, a six drop. I mean, at least we have good four, five, six, and six drops. I guess I'll just hard cast this and it'll get countered. Okay. Stretch on top. Terrifying. I'm just going to play this guy. And uh, what's going to happen to him? What do you think? I think Oblivion Ring. Nope. Here's Downfall. Fascinating. Something else? No?
Remember that conversation we had about creatures that are just unbeatable and they come down and take over the game because the format is not equipped to deal with them? Well, there you go. I'm still going to get in there because if they want to trade, that's fine. They know we have this guy, right? So... Fucking god damn it. <laughs> oh, crying out loud, dude. Actually hilarious. Amazing. Oh, that's incredible. Languish doesn't even kill Dream Trawler, so... You know, that's that's a thing, I guess. Wow. Sensor repeal. <laughs> Jesus. Sure. This kid was just demonstrating how bad card design is. I'm losing to like 2020 Ashiok, 2020 Dream Trawler, 2020 Nissa. It's actually pretty comical. I mean, I guess the one exception is like. I don't know if there was one. Uh, what can you do? Hey, that's 2019, Nissa. That's a good point, actually. You know, you're right. You're right. I made a faux pas. I apologize. What are the odds this Liliana gets countered? Censored. Censor me, baby. Oh, yeah. Give me that censor. Oh, no censor? Well, I'm... Color me... Color me surprised. I am flabbergasted. Censor this guy? You can't do it. Heroes Downfall Liliana? Disallow. Okay. Do you think you'll try drafting Commander Legends? I mean, if it's up on Magic Online, probably. Not like in paper, but... I mean, I pretty much... I'm, I think I pretty much make clear that I draft anything that's that's on Magic Online that's like a cool format that got resolved so my theory is that they're going to go 5th land we're going to go tick up to 7 they're going to go 6th land Dragonlord Solemngar Ultimate and we're going to be like sweet let's see I mean guys I'm really just trying for the 1-0 here being down a now down to down a game does not actually uh, fulfill me with much confidence in it, but we're trying to keep our heads up, guys. We're trying to be more positive. We're trying to have a more positive outlook on things. Okay. It's interesting you thought the Kalidus was more relevant than the Liliana. That's close to ultimating. That's that's interesting to me. So, let's assume for a moment that our opponent's going to do the exact thing we said. They're going to censor this Scarab God, right? Because they've since drawn it. Okay, that I've I've been wrong. Um, I'm not gonna minus Lily. I'm not gonna assume they have, because if they go, you, uh, here you go. Let's see. Let's just see. There you go. There's a six land. Okay. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? 
I X X Buddha X I X I. What's it gonna be? <sighs> One, two. Okay, just heroes down. I'm fucking. Why would you do it? Why does it take you that long? It's the longest hero's downfall in history. Planeswalker's gonna ultimate, huh? Let me think about this. Nope, gotta kill it. Guys, if you want to support the channel and you want a sweet deal... Check out manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service that you can utilize for all your magic online playing needs. You can play Pioneer, Modern, Standard. You can do it all. You can do whatever you want. It's all right here on Magic the Gathering online. Manatraders.com. You can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. So definitely check them out. You got it. <whistles> what the f Why not MTG Arena what? I don't understand that question. <laughs> so you gotta use proper nouns and things. Okay, so I guess we broke the game. Sounds good. Alright, can I... How do I... <laughs> yeah, alright. Yep. Oh, good. Would you like to play first? Sure. Sure. I guess we're I guess we're just playing now. Good times. Oh, he just went to my cleanup step. No, it's their turn. They went to their cleanup step. I don't know what's going on. They asked me if I'd like to play first, but now it's the cleanup step again, and I have to discard. God, everything about Magic the Gathering is real. Oh, I got a discard. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Why are you playing Magic Online instead of MTG Arena? Because cube drafts aren't available on MTG Arena. This is good. This is a good game. I wonder who's going to win. This is solid. Solid things are happening right now. Oh boy. They have one fewer cards, right? So they're going to go to 27. So, I mean, like, all things considered, we're going to win because they're going to deck, right? This is incredible. I like that neither of us have said anything about this. We're both having this really, like, fever dream situation. But neither of us have actually, like, been like, hey, man, you you experienced this, too? Thank you. Yeah, I've seen this, too. It's obviously, it's been recorded in one of my videos. Jundasaur, thank you for the resub, buddy. 17 months. So that's a good six years, buddy. I appreciate you. I'm literally still, like, considering what cards to discard. <laughs> This is actually... I'm going to do it. I'm going to go through the whole thing. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I, uh... It's probably... It's probably how you want to... Uh, you probably want to fast forward. Maybe, like, maybe do it 150%. 150% speed. God, this is amazing. Just like how Garfield intended it. Oh, Lord.
Well, we get to see each other's entire deck, so that's kind of cool, right? All right, eight cards left. I mean, I'll, I don't know what's going to happen after we get to zero cards, though. Don't you win? I mean, I, I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, like, I don't think we can really predict what happens. Come and knock on our door. Heroes Downfall, Dungeon Geist. And another land. And the game has ended. Wow, I'm so good at this game. Wild. God. Who knew I would be so good at this game? All right, let's submit the same deck. God, that was fantastic. I'll keep this hand and hope we can draw lands. I mean, they have Tide Hollow Sculler and Venser and all kinds of... This is how you trophy? Not when you're, not when you're, one, not when you're owed two so far, buddy. Not when you're owed two. Come on, lands. Just give me those lands, that's all. Thanks. Will you play Among Us with me? <laughs> I haven't actually played Among Us. I also don't own Among Us yet. Okay. If you want to disallow Vampire Nighthawk. They didn't. They're like, no way, buddy. play anything I mean I'm assuming they have Venser here but I'm not gonna like not play something because of that You could also have sensor, sensor or venser, right? Like they could have one of the one or the other. Sure. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Oh, they missed the land drop. Man, look at this guy go. And dissolve. Okay. Keeping Obnixilis up. I mean, these are arguably the two best threats in our hands, so. Okay, they can't cast Dream Trawler yet. Is it just, just crack your land and then pass? Interesting. I mean, Vampire Nighthawk doing some work here. Do you watch The Masked Singer? No, I've never seen an episode of The Masked Singer, actually. Um...
I mean, they have five cards and five mana. They didn't do anything, so I'm just assuming that most of their stuff is... Sure. <laughs> I'm sure... I'm just assuming they have a handful of counter spells. And... No Dream Trawler. Fascinating. I mean, only fascinating because they played a land that came in and played tap, so... I mean, do they have another counter spell? What do you think? No, oh, that guy just came right on down. Okay. Venser? No, five mana spell. Sphinx is rep for two. Seems good. If they tap out for Dream Troll, we're actually in a good spot here because we can kill their Wall of Omens and then Liliana. But they're just going to do that instead. No land. Let's collect a brutality and just see what you got here. Let's just take a peek. Take a little peek, see. This is something they're doing here. Cryptic Bounce. Sure. I mean, this is an easy situation where I can just discard a Disfigure. Or a Gifter Day. They're going to have tons of cards in my hand that I just don't care about. Wrath of God. Let's pop you back. There we go. That's good. Oh, good. One, two, three, four, five. Marshall coup. Hmm. Seems good. It's first six. Come on, land, so we can play a Grave Titan. One time land. One time six land when I have two six drops. One time. Nah. I was asking for a lot. So we have two blockers. Lilian will take four and go to one. Modern cube still Garbo? Eh, it's not great. I'm just gonna make them discard their last card. Let's put them down to... <laughs> oh, that was the right choice. Oh, that was the right choice. Lillian also survives here if they attack. She'll go to one. Oh boy, talk about the right choice. Yeah, that's a solid top deck. Let's see if we can hit a land, because otherwise we have two blank cards in our hand. Come on. Oh, no attacks. Intriguing. I mean, what are the odds they drew uh, disallow? 100%? Your opponent has disconnected.
everyone else, 0%. For you, 100%. Well, maybe. Magic's hard, guys. I'm going to open this comic book while I'm here. I wonder if they're coming back or if they deliberately disconnected. Okay, so you're just, just a bunch of tape. Taping, getting tape off comic, sealed comic packages is so obnoxious. <sighs> I'm gonna pause it. So we finally got the comic out of its monstrous packaging, and it is a copy of Venom, number 26, I believe. It's either 26 or 27. I believe it's 26. And I believe it is the first full appearance of a new character called Virus, written by Donny Cates. It's 25, I lied to you. 25 is actually the first cameo appearance of the character. And um, 26 is the first full appearance, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, it was a sweet cover. So I wanted to pick it up. This is what's known as a virgin cover because it doesn't have it doesn't have the the title or the issue number. It's just the full the full cover is just the art, and then you have the information on the back. And now and now Katie's home, as you can tell from the barking, <laughs> the borkage. All right, well. I'm gonna pause it again. Guys, to the surprise of no one, we won the match. Our opponent was a little baby. X, X, I, Buddha, X, I, Buddha, whatever his name was. He couldn't handle losing, so he disconnected, and uh, we won the match. So, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.